Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be having a look at cotton. So what you need to do, if you're playing with the seasonal menu on, if we go into there, you're going to want to plant in February or March and you'll harvest in October and November. Now if you're not playing with the seasonal calendar on, the cotton will grow in 8 months. So obviously depending on what you're playing, on what settings you've got on the go, will all depend on when you plant. So I've got the seasonal calendar on, so we're in February. So first things first, you need your field. So we've got this field here. We've done a full prep on it. So that's mulched, ploughed, fertilised, limed, fertilised again, cultivated, and then removed all the stones. So that's given us 100% fertilising state. So all we need to do now is put some seed in the ground. So I'll go grab a tractor. Right, so to plant cotton, you're going to need a planter. So if we go into the shop menu, into tools, and then to planters, any one of those that's got the cotton icon there on the bottom, the little cloud-shaped one, you can use for planting your cotton. So I've gone for this John Deere here, because I like this one the favourite at the planters so far. Just my personal preference. Obviously, it is quite expensive, so... Depending on your budget will all depend on what you go for. But obviously, the bigger the budget, the bigger the working width. So I've gone for that one. Secondly, you're going to need to put some seed in. So if we go back into the shop and then down to objects, you've got the options there of big pallets, 900 for 1,000 litres, big bags, 800 for 1,000 litres, and then pallets. We go to the seeds. There we are, 950 for 1,050 litres. So the best, most cost-effective option from the shop is going to be the big bag of seeds. But then again, if you've got the multi-fruit buying silo, that's going to be even cheaper. So from the shop, it's the big bags. So that's what we've got in here. So first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure it's on cotton. So if you're on Xbox like me, you do L, B and Y. And that will cycle through all the different crops that you can plant with this implement. So we'll make sure it's on cotton, like so. And you're going to unfold the planter. So L, B and A. It will go through all its animations, put the sides out. And then it will be ready to get cracking. Right, so once it's unfolded... What you're going to want to do now is LB and B to lower it, LB and X to turn it on, and then just drive through your field. There you, are, you can see a change in texture, so just make sure you go over the whole field planting all your cotton seeds. So I'll do that, and I'll see you at the end. Right, so once you've got your whole field planted, what you're going to want to do now is roll over with a roller. So if we go into the shop menu again, up to tools, and then to rollers. So any one of these in this menu, you can roll your seed into the ground better. So I've gone for this Power Roll 1230 HD. Just my personal preference, you go for whichever one you like and whichever one your budget dictates. So that's what we're gonna do. So as with the planter, L, B and A, unfold it. So that'll put the sides out. Go for its whole animation. And then once it's unfolded, we'll do L, B and B to lower it down. And unlike the planter, you don't have to turn it on. So once it's lowered, you're ready to go. So we'll drive through the field again. You'll see the change in texture. So as with the planter, you want to go, want to go over the whole field and get it all covered. So I'll do that and I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the whole field rolled. Now, because we did the prep to start with, there's not much more we need to do with this field. The only other thing that you may need to keep an eye out on, if you've got them turned on, is weeds. I haven't got them turned on because I don't particularly like them. But if you do have them on, when they start sprouting out the ground, you can come over them with a weeder. If they're a bit bigger than that, you're going to need to use herbicide spray. So, depending on what you want to go with, that's what you're going to need to use. But I've got them turned off. So what I'm going to do now is fast forward and we'll see a bit of growth. All 
Right, so we're in October. You can see in the bottom right hand corner there, we've got growth ready to harvest. So what I'm going to do now is jump in a harvester. Right, so harvesting your cotton. Let's have a look at your options. So if we go into the shop menu, we go up to vehicles and then cotton technology. We've got these two here. We've got the Case Module Express 635 and then the John Deere CP690. Now the difference between the two is the case will do a 20,000 litre bale and the John Deere will do a 10,000 litre bale but and it is a big but with the John Deere you can only unload a bale once it's reached that 10,000 litre capacity with the case you can unload a partial bale and obviously there's quite a big difference in the price as well so I've gone for the case here so what we'll do, L, B and A will unfold it, so it will raise the chamber up, like so. Now once that's done, we'll do L, B and B to lower the header, and then L, B and X to turn it on, and we're ready to go. So we'll just drive into the field, start harvesting cotton. So all it's doing is taking the white cotton off the plant, so the rest is going to be left, so we need to mulch that back in for any crop that we're going to do next in this field so I'll get this all harvested and I'll see you at the end right so that's the field harvested as you can see there in the bottom right hand corner we've got 3,429 litres of cotton so this is what I mean by picking the correct harvester for you this small field hasn't given us enough crop if we had the John Deere cotton harvester we wouldn't have been able to unload the bale right now but because we've gone with the case we can so if we do LB and Y it's got there unload unfinished bale so that's going to pop out the bale at the back see it'll all unfold there we are and that's your bale unloaded so if we then close it all up and we'll move this out of the way what I'll do, I'll jump back into the tractor and we'll see what we can do with it right so what you're going to want to do is get yourself some sort of bale transporting equipment so if we go into the shop down the tools and then into cotton technology so if you're using the John Deere cotton baler that gives off round bales so you're going to want to use this cotton wheelie grab or and the cotton tag trailer to transport them to a sale point if you're using the case like we are then you can use the module 4 or the module x semi so the module 4 will do one cotton bale a square cotton bale and round bales it's saying there and then the module x semi will take two bales so depending on how many bales you've got all depends on what you go for so I've gone for the module 4 so we'll back it off get it in position and what you do LB and X and put it into the transporting position so you back up into it it will draw it in and it will load it on like so and then we'll do LB and X again Let's lift the back up and we're ready to go so where do we want to go I'll meet you down there right so once you've got your bale on the back of your trailer you've got two options you can sell it or you can put it into a production chain so if we go into the prices menu we've got cotton there we've got Johnson's farmers market and we've got the spinnery so the best price there spinnery 3915 per thousand litres so if we then go LB and Y to unload the bale, we'll back it over that icon. And there we are. We sold it into the spinnery. So what have we got? 13,554 for that bale. Now what you can also do, if you own the spinnery, you can then turn it into fabric. So if you go up to the blue spanner, left stick in by the production point it's going to cost you 60 grand to buy you can then 
have that running on your cotton it will turn it into fabric you can then sell that on for a profit or you can then take that one stage further onto a tailor shop so that's your thing with cotton that is what it is you know it's entirely up to you whether you do it it is quite expensive to get going with it obviously you need that specialist harvester but you know it's another crop that you can do in the game so drop it in the comments below are you thinking of doing cotton are you just going to sell it on are you going to put it through a production chain if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one